Nowadays, there are two main ways you can create a desktop application with web technologies. The first one is using Electron and the other one is using Tauri. So Electron has been around for a while, but Tauri is a new framework where you can use Rust to create your backend and it ships with a way lesser bundle size and also faster applications with less memory consumption. So today let's have a look at the differences between Rust and Tauri and give a bit of a comparison check. So here's the major differences between Tauri and Electron. The first one is that Tauri you can use JavaScript or Rust for the frontend. While in Electron you can only use JavaScript from the frontend and the backend is written in JavaScript in Electron whereas in Tauri we use Rust. And the main place where Tauri shines is the speed. So in Tauri the compilation and the application speed are way faster when compared to Electron and also it consumes less storage and memory. Well, Electron, as you know, many applications consume a lot of memory and storage. Like for example, if you're using Slack, which is just a messaging application, it's very popular. But the thing is that it takes a lot of memory. And that's because it's built on Electron. There are a lot of applications that are built on Electron. Like for example, uh, VS Code is also built on Electron. And Discord, WhatsApp, all these desktop applications are built on Electron. Now the reason Electron takes a lot of memory and storage is because it uses the Chromium browser. Now the Chromium browser is very popular so the Chrome browser Edge and a lot of other browsers are made up with Chromium and uh, that's why uh, it's taking a lot of memory and storage. So memory the, being the main reason so if you're running Edge or Chrome you'll see that it takes up a lot of memory and that's because it's using Chromium underneath. Whereas Tauri on the other hand uses the system web view. So basically, if you're using a Mac, then the default web view is uh, this uh, WebKit and it doesn't take much memory, so it easily uh, renders our website and that's why Tauri is much faster. Also, there's one downside to Tauri along with many others, like any framework, the one being that the br some browser APIs will be available in some operating systems. So in Mac OS, uh, since we are having WebKit and the Safari and all those things, so some APIs will be available in here, but if you go into Windows, the Microsoft uh, Web View, they will have other APIs, and some may not be available in uh, different operating systems. While in Electron, it's uh, Chromium, and Chromium is like it's using the same engine, and it'll be available in all the uh, versions and operating systems. So that's one downside. Now these are the prerequisites uh, if you want to create a Tauri or an Electron application. To create a Tauri application, you need to install a couple of things like Rust, Node.js, the developer tools if you're on macOS, you can do it with Xcode select dash just install from your terminal, or the Microsoft Visual Studio C++ build tools if you're on Windows. Whereas an Electron, all you need is Node.js since you don't need to use any of these other things. And uh, again, the main thing about Tauri is Rust, so you'll need to have it installed. So I have created two applications, an Electron app and a Tauri app. And all that, all the content in both the applications is welcome to your Tauri application and welcome to your Electron application. Now I'm not using any front-end framework here. All I'm using is vanilla JavaScript. Uh, obviously you can try it out with uh, React or something, but I'm not using anything right here. And I've created the Electron application with Electron Forge. And let's have a look at how much time it takes to build. So I'm gonna use the time command and run yarn make for Electron Forge and let's see how much time it takes so as you can see the command took 15 seconds and 612 milliseconds to run so let's go on to the Tauri app and run the time command with yarn Tauri build let's see how long that takes Now as you can see the Tauri build took 3 minutes, 17 seconds and 4 minutes. Now that's significantly more than Electron but the highlight of Tauri is when the app is run. So right now if I were to open up the application and run the app and compare it to the Electron app then it will take lesser time to launch and also lesser memory. I have opened both of the uh, applications in Finder and as you can see the Tauri app is 6.3 megabytes whereas the Electron app is 213 megabytes. Now that's way big of a difference. That's because the Electron app ships with the Chromium browser when you are building it. So let's have a look at how long this takes to launch. And there you go, it's launched and obviously I didn't edit the code so it's automatically bringing up 
my developer tools but that's how long it took now let's compare it to the Tauri app and as you see the second I clicked it it brought up a window and opened there you go now I'm going to run both the apps and check it in my activity monitor so let's compare the memory usage that's the Tauri app and that's the Electron app so let's search for so this is the application and it's using 35 to 37 megabytes and if I switch over to the Tauri app it's using 22 megabytes now if you look back and if I will go back to Electron I think I have a small typo when I named the application but never mind there are four processes and all of them are taking a lot of uh, data so this is having 35, 35, 20 and 11 but if you look at the Tauri app this is 22 and uh, 32 and fi uh, 5 megabytes so altogether obviously Electron is using up more memory I'll also leave a link to this uh, GitHub repository in the description it's very useful it has a lot of uh, comparison and benchmark there are two applications here right now and it shows the build time uh, the memory consumption and everything on all the operating systems so here for example if you scroll down this is the first just an empty app and you can see the build size the difference between Electron and Tauri along with a lot of other frameworks too like Flutter and .NET and you can also see the memory usage a lot of it so that was it for this video hope you found the video helpful if you did go ahead give a like to the video and subscribe to my channel for more such content thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video